Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at Consolidate in Excel. This is a simple way to summarize data from a range of a single sheet or from multiple sheets or even multiple workbooks. Now there's many ways to, and alternatives to do this in Excel like pivot tables, sorting, filtering, subtotaling, etc. But this is just one more alternative that you have. So let's take a look at Consolidate in Excel. So here's the first um, such scenario that we have. I have a little chart here uh, with Q1 through Q4 of year 2012 and sales in the, of uh, three different salespeople, Betty, Jack, and Sam. And I want to consolidate those so I can just sum up uh, those. Now there's obviously different ways to do that. You can use a pivot table. You can use... Um, other methods you can use uh, sorting and filtering, subtotaling, etc. But we're just going to show the consolidate function as one option of doing so. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click up here in G1 and then from the data tab in Excel under the data tools there's consolidate. So I'm going to click on consolidate and the consolidated dialog box pops up and you have a choice of 11 different functions, um, some count, average, etc. We're going to just stick with some and our reference is going to be that table. So I click on that box, I highlight the area, click on it again and go ahead and it adds it to the all references. Now if I go ahead and say okay, but before I do that actually, I want to define where I want the labels used. Now notice in my table I have labels across the top for each column and down the side for each row. So I'm checking both of that, top row and left column. I click OK and immediately I've consolidated the data from Betty, Jack, and Sam into just three lines. So you can see Betty, we had 25 here and 20 here. That gives me my 45. 20 and 10 gives me my 30, etc. Jack, we had 20, 22, and 21. Those would add up to uh, I'm sorry, 20, 15, 22, and 21, that would add up to 78, etc. So now, uh, with that simple little function there, I've consolidated these into one nice little table, do a little formatting here, and it uh, looks like a nice little summary. And that's the first part of consolidate. Now let's look at a different option. Here I have three different years. I have 2010 with the same three salespeople for the four quarters. 2011, uh, again, the same uh, four quarters, three salespeople, and 2012. But if you've noticed, each one is a little different in size. Here it goes from row 2 to row 7. In 2011 was 2 to row 8. And in 2010 was row 2 to row 11. So they're three different sizes, but they all have the same uh, salespeople and the structure this way in terms of columns Q1 to Q4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click where I want the end consolidation to be and that's my consolidated tab. I start there, I click in cell A1 and then go to data and consolidate again and now once I'm in my reference uh, box there I'm going to click on that and then click on 2010 highlight that area click that and say add. Then while that's highlighted in the reference box I'm going to click on 2011. Notice how it kind of guessed what the size is but I'm going to change that to that. Again click add and lastly 2012 do the same. Click add. I have the three of them there. I have to make sure I do again my top row and left column and I click OK and now again it's summarized all three of those into a nice little table for me uh, so that it's uh, very simple to read and I can see the data from those three different years all in one consolidated table. All right, the last option I'm going to show you, um, we're going to get rid of this. I'm just going to go ahead and clear that data off and just go into my consolidated tab and I'm just going to delete these just so we can go through the process for the last scenario that we're going to show and that is again I'm going to use these three different years 
but we're going to add a little twist to it. So I'm going to do the same thing. Start there in cell A1, go to Consolidate, click on that reference button, go ahead, highlight this data, click there, click Add, go to 2011, highlight it, and Add, and finally 2012, do the same, highlight and Add. Make sure my top row and left column are checked, but I'm, lastly I'm going to check Create Links to Source Data. I check that, and now I say OK, and now Excel has added the outline function here. So if we click on number two there, it expands it all, and it's all coming from the Consolidate file. And you can see the three different groups for Betty, for Jack and for Sam. And the nice part about this, the link is created so anything that's done to the uh, individual tabs will uh, be referenced and updated here. So for example, you can see in Q1 of the first tab, 2010, there's a 97. If I go there, you can see it's pulled at 97. So let's change it to something very obvious like a thousand. I hit enter. Now if I go back to consolidated, it's automatically updated it to 1,000, and that's increased that amount significantly. I go back and change it to 97. I go back to my Consolidate, and you can see it's all been updated back to where it was. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.